Cloverleaf, presented by its CTO and co-founder, John Lees Miller. Great, thank you, Daniel. So Overleaf, in a nutshell, is like Google Docs for scientists. So online collaborative editing, but specialized for scientific papers. So Overleaf started as a side project of mine when I was finishing my PhD. Uh, we were working on the world's first computer-guided taxi system at Heathrow Airport. So if you're ever in Heathrow, you should definitely check it out. It's great. Uh, so this was a big international collaboration, a lot of stakeholders in industry and in academia. And we really wasted a lot of time emailing word files uh, with silly names like report version 2, final version 5. Uh, so we decided we could do better. So we built this internal tool, which became Overleaf, and we were the first users. Five years later, Overleaf has over 2 million authors. So that's a big change. Uh, they've written over 17 million documents on our platform. Those range from technical reports to presentations to grant proposals like that tweet to scientific articles and all kinds of scientific content. So I think everybody here can relate to the difficulty of writing documents collaboratively because it's something that we all do. But scientists feel that pain particularly acutely. So one reason for that is that scientific papers are just very collaborative. They involve a lot of authors. And then once you've actually written your paper with all those authors, you have to involve dozens of other people in the process of getting it published. So editors, peer reviewers, copy editors, lots of other people at publishers. And this whole process, once you've written your paper of getting it out into the world, currently takes six to nine months. One of the reasons that it takes so long is that publishers are using outdated technologies to manage this whole process. Overleaf is changing that by bringing the whole thing into the cloud. It's um, basically we keep the document in one place and we invite the appropriate people to it at the appropriate times. So it's a very simple idea. To make that work, we've developed a lot of technologies. So there's a rich text collaborative editor, kind of like Google Docs. Um, we've added to that an automatic preview so you can see what your paper is going to look like and it's published. Uh, we've added a lot of features to make it more familiar to Word users, so you can work offline with Overleaf. You've got a track changes and comments feature. And we've also done a lot of work upstream of that, or downstream of that, depending on your perspective, uh, with the back-end systems that publishers use, so that once you've finished writing your paper on Overleaf, you can now submit it to over 10,000 academic journals with one click. So that's one of the ways that Overleaf makes money. Uh, we work with some of the world's largest publishers to streamline their submission flows and help them reach more authors. We also work with a lot of institutions. So we work with institutions like uh, Stanford, Caltech, Purdue, and many others to provide site licenses of Overleaf for their staff and their students. And increasingly, Overleaf is targeting enterprise. So we can put Overleaf behind the firewall at large R&D labs, pharma companies, and very privacy-conscious uh, institutions. So it's been an amazing year for us. Uh, we acquired our largest competitor to become the clear leader in our space. We've grown our active user numbers by over 350% and revenue by 390%. And we've done that by less than doubling our team size. So that's very positive for us. Um, all of this growth means that Overleaf's network of researchers becomes more complete, which means we benefit from stronger network effects. And it also means that we gain more data and more insight into how research is happening. So this year, we wrote a report with Digital Science where we used Overleaf data to see, for the first time, international research collaboration in real time. So Overleaf, we think that the next walls to fall should be those between scientists in different places and in different disciplines. And if we can do that, then we will see science becoming more effective, faster, and hopefully more open. Thanks very much.